Good morning, I'm Geraldine and take talent acquisition at Wallapo. I've been working here for almost a year. Actually, I started more in the business and marketing side and I just moved to engineering in January and enjoying a lot. So today we want to give you an overview about the company, what we do, uh, how is the structure of the teams, uh, how is the hiring process for engineering and some of our challenges. And also at the end, we can answer some questions or curiosities that you might have. Okay, so let's start. Um, so, ah, sorry, one second. I think I know in the right one. Okay. Um, so what is Wallapod? We are, uh, I don't know if uh, some of you, I guess if you are not in Spain, you don't know us. So we are the first unique goods and secondhand marketplace in Spain. We've been already nine years in the market. In the market, Actually, last year was our anniversary. Uh, we also launched in Italy last year. Uh, so actually last October, so it's been less than a year. And we are doing amazingly well. So we want to grow around Europe. And we are actually uh, launching Portugal in September as well. OK. So for example, uh, we want to share with you some numbers. Uh, Wallap has built the leading customer to customer commerce in Spain, as I was saying, for furniture, fashion, cars, everything. So here are some interesting numbers that we want to share with you. For example, we have uh, 16 million of monthly active users. And we have reached a super high brand awareness. So here in Spain, almost everyone knows what is Wallapop and what we do. Okay. Um, what is interesting, the listing. We have, for example, around 74 million of items listed in our platform, which represents a value of approximately 12 billion of euros. Um, then in terms of our users, 92% of them are mobile users, so they use the app, the rest they use the web, but as you can see, it's um, more an app, so we are an uh, uh, user. No? Um, then uh, uh, almost 20% of them are um, adopting the shipment model. This has been only three years, so it's a good number considering that we launched the shipment through the app uh, just three years ago. Uh, this one, uh, to make you understand a bit more, um, so while I before, it used, uh, used to be like you meet the person always face to face, so you were very limited, so only uh, meeting pe uh, people who were close or around you. Now, with this shipment through the app, you can buy or sell a product, an item to someone in Italy, or in anywhere in Spain, no? And this. So, um, okay. Let's move to another thing. So uh, in terms of our, our, our mission, we exist to empower people to promote a more conscious um, and human way of consumption. This is based on three pillars that we, we take for everything. So the pillars are um, opportunity, sustainability, and accessibility. Opportunity because we offer thousands of products and services through the app. Uh, accessibility because it's a free app that everyone can download and use anywhere. And sustainability because we are um, most of our products are second hand, as I said. Um, okay, and the reason for our success is the simplicity of our user experience through a powerful and personalized search. So here you can see how the app looks like, no? Uh, you do in the search, then we have a community chat where you can interact no, with the, the person. Um, then it's um, a smooth logistics and all of these we offer in a safe platform. Um, okay. Um, in terms of our values, how we wish to work, we, um, we work that uh, we believe and we are one team. Um, so we are working towards the same goal. We dream and deliver. 
uh, without being afraid of taking risk. And we always aim to simplicity. We also learn and grow uh, from learning from our mistakes, no, uh, with constructive feedback, 360 feedback that we work a lot here. Um, these values are important also because the last interview that we do, the competencies interview, is also based in in these values. So we also may always mention this to the candidates, you know, in the intro call and to get to know us more. Um, okay, now we will focus more in the teams, uh, how the product and engineering team works. So we work in Agile, so we organize ourselves in tribes and topic teams. All are cross-functional. Um, to support our amazing user journey, we have these tribes, five tribes. Uh, for example, the first one, Connecting. Um, is making sure that our users can search and find what they're looking for. Then we have, for example, transacting. The second one is once the product is sold, um, everything related to uh, to send it, no, for the shipment. And also we implement the uh, the wallet, no, that we can enable to. Um, you can use this one instead of money. No? This one is very new as well. Um, then what, what else we have, the other tribe is pros. Here are all the business, all the pro professionals, all business that they advertise in Wallapop. Mainly they come from the automotive sector, but recently we start working with the small and medium companies that they want to work with us as well. So all these companies, professionals, let's say they, they pay for certain services. Then we have caring and protecting that they are um, um, they're making sure that our platform our platform is a safe um, environment, no? it's a safe platform for our users. And then uh, the last tribe is platform that sustains all the other tribes and ensures that we can scale. Okay. Uh, so moving to why uh, it's exciting to work in, in, in engineering here at Wallapop. So for example, you will be working in, a, in an app, no? it has millions of users. Uh, we grow in other markets, no? uh, at the end, what we want is help the users to be more conscious, no? giving all this opportunity and accessibility no? through the app. Then we have um, another thing is that we have high standards in how we, how we build software. Um, another one can be that we, you can solve uh, complex problems at the same time that you're having fun. Okay. Um, yeah, this is some of them. Um, then let's move to more engineering and the tech stack. So this one is per areas. You know? For example, um, in DevOps, we use mainly AWS with Python and Bash. Then in Android, we use Kotlin mainly with a lot of more technologies, but the main ones will be the first ones. For example, in backend, in backend is Kotlin and Java, um, in iOS Swift, and in frontend, JavaScript with Angular and a bit of React as well. Um, so here, in terms of hiring, we usually like candidates that uh, they are open not to work with different technologies. Uh, we always open that it's not because we're using, for example, in front end, because we are using Angular, we only hire people with Angular, also from React or from other technologies. As soon as they are happy to, to learn with us the new technology, is good. No? Um, OK, let's move to the hiring process then. Um, so in engineering, we have the um, this process that usually is four stages, a fifth, a fifth with the offer call. So the intro call is where we're going to meet the candidate and we're going to tell more about us, how is the culture, how is working at Wallapop, um, yeah, everything. No? And it's a good time for all of you to ask uh, all questions, no? adapts, any doubts, curiosities that you might have. So um, uh, usually we have this intro call, this is between 30 and 45 minutes. Uh, then we have a take-home task. 
uh, depends on the role. We use different plat platforms. You can do online or we send it uh, no, by email. Um, and yes, and once they send it back, we, we try to provide feedback in two, three days. Uh, if the feedback is positive, then we move into the expertise interview. Here is where we'll, we suggest to have a bit of preparation because we're going deeper into the exper expertise and domain knowledge for this work. So um, here, for example, in the, uh, they check the test together a little bit, then some technical questions. And we always leave the, the last 10, 15 minutes of the interview for the candidate to have also the chance to ask questions to the, the rest of the team. Uh, if this interview goes well, we move into the last interview, the competency interview, where we're gonna, we want to know the candidate more and know how he operates, uh, they operate in the workplace, you know, based in examples, and also is related to our values. Uh, in this, uh, at, for this interview, we recommend to use the STAR methodology. And then uh, this same interview in case it is for leader or manager or managers uh, roles, we also have um, a leadership assessment. So it's the same interview, we just add uh, 15 extra minutes where we're gonna check the leadership um, skills. No? But it will be the same process and the same number of interviews also for uh, leadership roles. And yeah, and if uh, the candidate pass on this process, we have in always an offer call where we discuss the offer and tell uh, a bit everything. We always provide the feedback, no? the things that we see, the, um, the areas of improvement or how uh, he feels. No? It's good also to have feedback from the candidates at the end if we can improve the process or the, what they see, what no? was it, their feedback about this. Okay, so... And now, uh, for example, this is the, the current uh, opening roles that we have now. Um, we, we usually have like funnels in front end or Android. So we're looking, for example, in front end for five front end at the moment, in Android for a couple, um, an engineering manager as well for a couple. The rest are probably just one, but, but this is one, some of the roles. For example, I'm, uh, I'm hiring for engineering manager, for agile coach, and for front end. And the rest, I think, my colleague is in charge, if I'm not wrong. <laughs>